Hi guys, uh, welcome back, Sunday morning, and we're actually ready to feature a car this morning, so uh, this is an old family friend, he's always had kind of out there styled cars, I suppose, bit of everything, uh, ranging from Morris Miners to Thunderbirds, sold Fiat's, he's a few things, so he messaged me a wee while ago to say he's bought something cool, it's got a V8, I'm sure you've probably seen by the thumbnail what it is already, but we're going to head along and do a quick episode in this one, so guys, please enjoy. Guys, so here we are. I promised this would be a cool feature. And Hamish, here it is. How are you doing? So this is a 72. October 72. October 72 Mac 1 Mustang. How cool is this? I hope the camera is doing this justice, you know. Guys, so probably the biggest engine sort of thing we've had on the channel is my car, which is straight six, twin turbo. But one of the big things at the time from Japan was always 300 horsepower or 270 horsepower from standard. However, look at this. Now, Hamish just keep me right, but this is a 351. 351 Windsor. Uh, it's governed to 180 horse. Twin barrel carburetor option, that was for the insurance. Brilliant, right? You get a Ram Air conversion, one 4 V8s it's called. It's got a high lift camshaft and it puts out in the 300s. Okay. It's got a limited slip diff drag pack option. Um, and that, that was as standard for these, yeah? That was in a 71. Oh, okay. But it was all done away with 73. This was the biggest one you could get in 73. Right. The insurance was, was killing them. It was like the cause of Sierra XD, you know what I mean? Yeah. They were doing everything they could to kill it. So what they did was they kept the body and just kept making the, the engine less and less power. Oh, okay. And the one that replaced this, the Mach 1 that replaced this was only a 2.8 V6 out of Granada. Oh, okay, I saw. Rubbish. Uh, aye, so this was the last of the big ones. Yeah, brilliant. It is so clean under here as well. You can tell it's a US import. Not a mark on it. Absolutely solid everywhere. Look at the size as well. Even with an engine that size and you've got three feet of room up front. Yeah, Glasgow ones would have a patch there, a patch there, a patch there, a patch there. Patch there. Patch there. <laughs> this is quite high up. Okay. Trim level. It's got the centre armrest and all that. High back seats and it's got the inserts. It's got the cloth inserts. The, the base model wouldn't have had all that stuff. Wow. Then the interior does look so good. It's like the skyline in the back came you should almost like bucket seats. Well it was safety, safety first, 73 if it's the start of it, you see. Right. Uh, the padded dash and all that, see? Because there was people getting killed or splitting their heat open in the dash. I was just saying I absolutely love these wheels. Are these bullet rims, Hamish? Yeah. They're called Torque Master D's. Torque Master D's, American racing. And you're like thinking about 1960s. And you're thinking about swapping these back? Slot mags. Yeah. Right. Traditional slot mags. I yeah. went to look at a car when I was a child. A Mark 1 Mustang. It was in Burnt Island in 1981. It had the slot mags. And the plan is a vinyl wrap on this to get it to that, yeah? No, no. No, that's that's two years time when the car's finished. Oh, okay. I'm going to have it ratty for the first year. I do like it, to be honest. Yeah. I do. 
I look at all the room in here with them down, that's unbelievable. So, people ordered that fold down seat, right? Okay. As an option. Right. Not knowing that they actually needed it, right? Uh huh. And then they also forgot to order the trap door. Okay. You see the trap door? Yes. Is that access straight into the bit? Yep. I'll show you the trap door. I'm going to get the keys. This is bogey in there, right? Uh huh. Oh wow, access straight in. So, golf clubs, skis, <laughs> bicycles. Bodies. Well I. <laughs> in at all. There you go. So that's... My pal, he paid $1,300 for that setup because his Steve McQueen one didn't have it. Okay. The woman never ordered it. Not knowing that it's like totally the thing you need to have. <laughs> so, uh, I think it was done last night. Ah, uh, the good sunstrap. And this, so this car you were just saying was imported two years ago? Two years from ago. From California? Actually. Yeah, a friend of mine imports them and then does them up for customers. And uh, this was no longer required because a bullet shaped Mustang was, was bought to replace it. Right. Uh, and that's a dream car for this customer, so this was for sale. You get one of these cars for about 18 to 20,000 pounds uh, needing work. You'll wow. pay up to thirty thousand pounds for one that's done. Is that right? So they're just totally unaffordable. Yeah. They were a five hundred quid car when I was a boy. <laughs> it's, it's like the classics and I was just unbelievable, isn't it? Uh, your your dad's pal used to get them every week. <laughs> and we'd go out every Saturday. <laughs> I know and now now honestly you just do not see them. It's crazy. Them and the Ford Falcons round about then at that time. Well, his uncle was a dealer. Oh, okay. That's how there was there was access to them. Brilliant. Gorman Motor Company used to import them new. Brilliant. I know it'd be cool to feature one of them as well, but that they are few Crawford's and far. still got one. Ah, Crawford's got one, yep, yeah. maybe one we can get a hold of. But I think it's imported, I don't think it's one of the Glasgow ones. Okay. Okay. A lot, a lot of these, when they were new, they had the spoiler on backwards, so I've got to try and work my way around that just now. I've got the spoiler on the right way now, and I've got to try and work out how to get the aerofoil leg <laughs> around the right way. It, it does suit that front lip. I was terrified I was going to get ripped off with the speed bumps. I know, you need to watch the speed bumps round here. Watch the potholes round here. And the back one, you said it was actually on the wrong way, yeah? Uh, it, was, it was too... It was too... Uh, see, the thick bit goes to the back and the thin bit goes to the front. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it works like an aeroplane wing and it lifts the car off the ground. The idea is just to push the car down on the ground. And they're fully adjustable, see there's... That's what it is. Wow. Now I think that the Aero. aerofoil legs are supposed to go the, the other way. Yeah. So I need to take it off and, and change it all round. Brilliant. But I'm terrified because they're 800 pounds new and I don't want to break anything. Ah, exactly, I know. Just like everything, the price is it's through the roof. 54 year old or whatever it is. 50 year old. I look at the dash in here, guys. This is so cool. Spotless condition as well, Hamish. I think the the interior is new. I think it's a, all reproduction. This apparently this is the most popular hobby car in the world. Oh, is it? So you can buy all the all the trim. That Would, dash pad will be new. The, the door cars will be new. The seats will be new. Yeah, the the conditions are amazing in here. The dials. I think a glove is original. Unbelievably cool. This was an option you had to buy. This this arm armrest glovey. Wow. New door locks, cost a fortune. <laughs> okay, these going in next, yes. Fifteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. It opens up a flap, let's call there then. Oh, is it? Is, so, it? is that the aircon back in the day? No, no, it's, it's like Land Rovers have got that as well. The old, you know, the old square shaped Land Rovers yeah. from the seventies. They've got that. They've got a wee door that opens up and then it lets air in. Brilliant. They ported the. Uh, a plane the we Wednesday then here wow now guys, as usual, I forgot to film an outro for this, but just to say thanks Hamish, that has been a great feature, very cool car, and guys I hope you liked it, there will be more coming in the future, thank you.